Hello everyone, now let us discuss about the pharmacological classification of drugs that alter the anterior pituitary hormone secretion. First, let us discuss the anterior pituitary hormones. From acidophil cells, growth hormone, which is also called as somatophil, somatrophin, and prolactin are released. And from basophil cells, thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH, adrenocorticotrophic hormone, ACTH, follicle stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone. Four hormones are released from basophil cells. Coming to the drugs that alter the anterior pituitary hormone secretions. The first class is inhibition of growth hormone release. The drugs are somatostatin, octreotide, octreotide and landreotide. Next is growth hormone antagonist. The drug is pegbisomide. Next class is inhibition of prolactin release. The drugs are bromocriptine, carbergoline and apomorphin. And drugs which enhance the prolactin release are chlorpromazine and other neuroleptics, metaclopramide and reserpine. And finally coming to inhibition of gonadotrophin release. Superactive GnRH agonist. GnRH is nothing but gonadotrophin releasing hormone agonist. Initially they enhance the GN release and subsequently inhibit it. The drugs are nafarilin, triptorelin, gosirelin and luprolide. Coming to GnRH antagonist. The drugs are Gani relics and Cetrol relics. Antagonists they have relics whereas agonists they have relics. Now let us see some of the marketed preparations. The first is growth hormone which is nothing but somatotrophin. Recombinant human growth hormone. For pituitary dwarfism 0.03 to 0.06 mg per kg subcutaneous or intramuscular in the evening daily or on alternative days. And for adult growth hormone deficiency 150 to 300 mg per day subcutaneous later adjusted according to response. Coming to the preparations norditrophin which is 5, 10 and 15 mg per injection. Next is humatrope which is available in 6 mg and 12 mg cartridges and also 1.33 and 5.33 mg vials. The next drug is metotrophins. Metotrophins which are nothing but follicular stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. They are obtained from the urine of menopausal women. Preparations are preganol, pregonin, gynogen which are available as 75 by 50 or 75 units IU units of FSH mm -hmm. plus 75 units of uh, LH activity per ampule also 150 IU FSH plus 150 IU per 150 LH IU LH per ampule the next drug is Euro polytrophin or menotrophin which is nothing but pure follicular stimulating hormone. The preparations are metrogen, metrogen, din, metrodin, foligest, folliculin and pure gon which contains 75 IU and 150 IU per ampule. Next is human Chorionic gonadotrophin HCG. Human chorionic gonadotrophin HCG. It is derived from the urine of pregnant women. The preparations are chorion, prophacy, pubergen, 1000 IU or 2000 IU or 5000 IU or 10000 IU. All as dry powders with separate solvent for injection. The next drug is somatostatin. For upper GI bleeding, 250 mg slow IV injection over 3 minutes followed by 3 mg IV infusion over 12 hours. The preparations are Stillman, Somatosan and Somatostat which is available in 250 mg and 3 ml ampules, mg, 3 mg ampules. The next step is Octreotide. It is available in 100 mg IV followed by 25 mg per hour. The dose is 
the preparations are sandostatin and octrite which is available in 50 mug 100 mug in 1 ml ampule and sandostatin lar microsphere formulation which is available in 20 mg per 5 ml injection the next drug is bromocryptin dosage is start with 1.25 mg twice daily and titrate upward up to 10 mg twice daily the preparations are proctinal and palodel secryptin and bromogen which is available in the dose of 1.25 mg and 2.5 mg tablets. The next drug is carbergolin. Start with 0.25 mg twice weekly. Increase up to 1 mg twice weekly as needed. The preparations are carberlin 0.5 mg tab and camp forte 0.5 and 1 mg tab and colite 0.25 mg and 0.5 mg tablets. The next drug is nafarelin for endometriosis 200 mg intranasal spray twice daily and for percocious puberty 800 mg intranasal spray twice a day. The preparations are nasarel 2 mg per ml solution for nasal spray and 200 mg per actuation. The next drug is triptorelin. For endometriosis and carcinoma prostate, for prostate cancer, 3.75 to 7.5 mg of DIPOT injection intramuscular every 4 weeks. For female infertility, 0.1 mg subcutaneously daily for 10 days starting on the second day of menstruation. And for percocious puberty, 50 mg per kg intramuscular injection of depot injection intramuscular IM of depot injection every four weeks. The marketing preparations are decap decap uh, daily 0.1 mg injection and decapeptide depot 3.75 mg injection. The next drug is loop prolide for palliative treatment of advanced carcinoma of prostate 1 mg subcutaneously once daily or 3.75 mg intramuscular or subcutaneous once a month of depot preparation. The marketed preparations are lucride 1 mg injection and 3.75 mg depot injection and prostase 1 mg per ml injection. The next drug is gosirin to assist induced ovulation. 3.6 mg depot gosirelin IM 1 to 3 weeks before exogenous gonadotrophin injection. And for endometriosis or carcinoma prostate, 3.6 mg every 4 weeks or 10.8 mg every 3 months. The marketed preparations are Zolodex 3.6 mg prefilled syringe and Zolodex 3.6 mg pre-filled syringe and Zoladex LA 10.8 mg wide. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on pharmacological classification of drugs.